Um, so he's asking, how do you go about scaling up an innovation once it's proven? So do you interface with the organization? Do you pitch it to individuals in the organization? Does every project already naturally come with an owner and they would be in charge of scaling it? What's the approach to that? Yeah, so this is this is another kind of learning learn as we go thing. So in our in our first um in our first challenges, uh we had exactly this problem and we would end up with what could in many cases I would say interesting ideas, but no clear path, um at least no clear path at the beginning or sort of at the early stages of the project for where this might go or who might sponsor it. So we've kind of changed our, our approach here to, I mentioned this problem solving challenge, which was a different approach. So we flipped it around basically. We said to key decision makers and sponsors around the organization, tell us your most pressing sort of recurrent issue or problem or objective that you're, you're trying to solve right now um, so we, we gathered about 40 from, from across the institution, everything from the kind of issue that I was just talking about, you know, how do we get data in, in countries um, where data is not available to how do we improve handover of um, knowledge when, you know, our mission chiefs or our country chiefs change um, to, you know, better ways of trying to deal with the trade war or what these sorts of things. So it's kind of a, an, enorm an incredible list. But the advantage of this was basically up front, these sponsors had said, if you come up with an interesting idea, you know, we, have, we are basically either already committed to try and solving this or have resources available. So, um, you know, there was kind of that, that home was already predetermined. And also you knew that the problem, the, the potential solutions were addressing something that people really care about right from the beginning. So I think I think this was this was really appreciated. We'll have to see. So those solutions are right now going through the accelerator. So we'll have to sort of see how that loop closes. You know how if any of those do prove to be of value. You know how they then feed into our sort of our mainstream. The um, the Swift example I was mentioning earlier. So you know I have to say that once the team of economists that had worked on this showed how powerful it was it kind of just took off within the organization. So many teams, you know, they did, we do these close out presentations. So the project, they presented their outcomes, you know, they shared it with, with a big audience. Many people then followed up saying, oh, well, you know, could I try this here or there, there? And then, you know, the, 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 the access to the data is available to other staff. So it was fairly, it was, it sort of just became through a sort of more viral process um, adapted by adapted and adopted by many other people in the organization. I think a third avenue we have is, this would be for more capital intensive type of projects where we do have a capital program. You know, it, it, it does take, it could take applications for funding, you know, if you needed a much bigger piece of software or something like that developed. We haven't fully tested that yet. Um, but we have had sort of follow on funding for some of the proof of concepts, um, but nothing very large scale as yet.